Well, hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at Winchester, which is sadly not a movie about the pub in Shaun of the Dead. Rather, this is about the famous house in San Jose, California, and the eccentric widow who built it. It was directed and co-written by brothers Michael and Paul Spierig, and stars a bunch of people doing fake American accents. The movie is loosely based on true events, very loosely from what I can tell. Sarah Winchester, evidently overcome with grief at the loss of her husband and their only child, has moved out west and taken up residence in San Jose and started building the most bizarre house you will ever see. Sarah is also the majority owner of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, which was started by her late husband, and the board of directors is just a little bit concerned that she may have lost her damn mind. And they would like a psychiatrist to confirm it, because that would give them cause to initiate a hostile takeover of the company. So they hire this guy, Dr. Eric Price, out of San Francisco, and he agrees to spend some time evaluating Mrs. Winchester and a whole lot of spooky shit happens. I have been to the actual Winchester house, it's practically in my backyard, and it is a fascinating structure built by a fascinating woman. And I was very curious to see what the Spirig brothers would be able to do with this Bay Area legend. And sadly, what I got was my first big disappointment of 2018. This is really nothing more than a basic haunted house movie. It's not especially bad, it's just mediocre. But then it was directed by the same brothers who directed Jigsaw, so... I guess I should have expected this. Like so many horror movies nowadays, it relies far too heavily on jump scares. And if I didn't know better, I would swear they were intentionally trying to make them as predictable as possible. They were so bad. You could see some of them coming a mile away because they deliberately telegraphed this shit. And for a movie that's about one of the more famous haunted houses in the country, I really don't feel like they spent enough time going into the weirdness of the house itself. They do touch on a few of the signature oddities, like the tiny switchback staircase, which was most likely built due to Winchester's crippling arthritis, and they show the staircase that doesn't go anywhere. But I was a little disappointed that they didn't feature the door to nowhere. If you've ever actually been to the house, there is a door on the second story that goes nowhere. You open the door and, oh, there's the ground. No balcony or anything, it's just door to nowhere. Didn't see it in the movie, and the sad thing is there's a spot where they probably could have used it, but didn't. Now, because the house was constantly under construction up until Mrs. Winchester's death and was constantly being built up and torn down and built up again, it's possible that Door to Nowhere didn't exist yet in 1906. But if that is the case, and that is the point in the movie where they decided to go for historical accuracy, really? because the motto of the Spearig Brothers seems to be do not let the truth get in the way of a good story. Well, I don't know if good is the right word, but do not let the truth get in the way of a story. This movie is definitely not a documentary and doesn't seem to care much for historical accuracy, although there are a few things that they did get right. The Great Earthquake of 1906 is depicted in this movie, of course. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. I thought they did a pretty good job of capturing the fierce loyalty that Sarah Winchester's servants had for her, because she paid them well and took very good care of them. What a concept. Sarah's niece, Marion, is depicted in this movie, and she did actually exist. Her son, Henry, however, did not. That was a character that was purely made up for the movie, I assume because the directors think possessed children are creepy as hell. And, I mean, they're not wrong. But the weird thing is, Marion and her husband, who was not dead by 1906, as the movie seems to imply, not even close, did adopt a child at some point, but they adopted a daughter. So if the movie was going to suggest she had a child, really should have been a girl. The movie depicts a massacre at the headquarters of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. That never happened. Also, the character of Dr. Eric Price did not exist in real life. And honestly, his presence in the movie kind of baffles me. 
I can certainly buy the angle of the Winchester board of directors wanting to discredit Sarah because, after all, there were rumors that she was building the house because she was guided by spirits to do so. Although it's also entirely possible that she built it purely because she was rich and she could and who the fuck was going to tell her no. But in any case, hiring a psychiatrist to confirm she was crazy sounds like something they would do. Hiring Dr. Eric Price, the character depicted in this movie, who is a laudanum addicted man whore. Wouldn't have been my first choice if I was in their shoes, you know? I mean, perhaps they didn't have many psychiatrists to choose from in San Francisco, but... The Winchester Company is located in Connecticut. Surely they could have found a reputable psychiatrist somewhere in New England and just put him on a train to California. I think that would have been a better option. I'm just saying, it seems like they were going about this the hard way. The movie also has an anti-gun message, which doesn't seem to be very well thought out. Depicting Sarah Winchester as being anti-gun is questionable enough on its own. And in most of the movie, the message appears to be, guns are bad, okay? But at the very end, in the movie's climax, without giving too much away, they literally solve their problems by shooting them. I'm getting some mixed messages here. For what it's worth, the movie is pretty well acted. Sarah Winchester is played by Helen Mirren, and she's better than most actors even on a bad day. And this probably would qualify as a bad day, but she's still Helen fucking Mirren. And Sarah Snook and Jason Clark, who play Marion and Dr. Price respectively, also did a fine job. They also have some great exterior shots of the actual house, and did a pretty good job of recreating the interiors as well. But at the end of the day, it's really just another haunted house movie, and I feel like the real Sarah Winchester and her batshit crazy house deserve so much better. So my verdict is, instead of seeing this movie in theaters, go see the actual Winchester Mystery House, because a tour of that house is going to be far more interesting than the movie. And that's all I got to say about Winchester. Till next time, take care.